Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 26th of February 1917, the original Dixieland Jazz Band made the first commercially released jazz recording for the Victor Talking Machine Company in New York City. Following the abolition of slavery, the popularity of traditionally black genres of music such as blues and later ragtime grew in the South. By the 1910s, New Orleans had developed a unique variation spearheaded by Creole and African-American musicians such as Jelly Roll Morton who played in the city's bars and brothels. Nevertheless, white musicians from New Orleans also began to refine their sound in bands led by pioneers such as Papa Jack Lane. In 1916, another drummer and band leader, Johnny Stein, was invited to put together a band to play at Schiller's Cafe in Chicago. Stein's Dixie Jazz Band proved to be a huge success, and the other members later broke away to form the original Dixieland Jazz Band. This band took up a residency at Reisenweber's restaurant in New York City, and on the 31st of January 1917, they made unused test recordings for the Columbia Gramophone Company. However, a few weeks later, on the 26th of February, they recorded Livery Stable Blues and Dixieland Jazz Band One Step for the Victor Talking Machine Company. Recorded live through a huge pickup horn, the musicians were positioned at various points around the room in an attempt to balance the volume of the instruments. The resulting record was released in May and went on to sell hundreds of thousands of copies. While there continues to be some debate about how far the original Dixieland jazz band can truly claim to have recorded the first jazz record, there's no doubt that their release was responsible for kick-starting the jazz craze that swept across the United States. 